those of us mourning the loss of Lost and 24 and all that, I'm with you. I hear you because I really love television. But one thing that's been very, very interesting is throughout these shows, I always get asked about the medical aspects. You know, like, Dr. Dolly, is that true? Can you really perform an appendectomy, take out an appendix like they did on Lost on an Island? Can you really do that? Well, actually, yes, you can. And, you know, I have people go, well, what happens if there's no doctor? Uh, you know, what, what do we do? What, what do we do if we're out there in the wilderness? Well, you want to know something? All right, I, I'm going to teach you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how to take out an appendix if you're stuck on an island. It's actually very, very simple. All right. Let me get a volunteer. OK, who out there? Who out there is going to help me? You, you over there. Yep. Yep. You come over here. Come over here. All right. We got the patient here. Right. Yeah, I know it's nice and breezy. Right. You see the ocean out there, the palm trees. It's kind of nice, isn't it? All right. Yeah. No, you come over here. Come over here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You'll be fine. All right. Now, got to grab some alcohol because we need to sterilize the patient. All right. Somebody, somebody who crashed on the plane had a, grandma, that grandma over there. There's got to be some alcohol in her purse. Absolutely. Grab it. Grab it. All right. Now, let's pour alcohol on the patient to sterilize him. Oh, man, you got it all over his shirt. Yeah, yeah, you can't be wasting it. We're on an island, okay? Alcohol is a precious commodity. Here, just, just ring out the shirt. Just, just ring it out. Okay, let it drip on his tummy. Yeah, wait, let me take a sip of that first. Okay, all right, we're ready. Okay, so we got alcohol on his stomach, all right? Looks good, right? We don't have to shave him. Jack has a very nice, you know, non-hairy six-pack of a stomach. Yep, there's Sawyer over there without his shirt also. Very nice, so we don't have to shave him. If there was hair, yes, I'd say shave him, all right? Now, we need to find the place to start the incision. All right. So we find something called McBurney's point. Very simple, guys. Right. So you look for his belly button. You know, when people have an appendicitis attack, they usually hold the right side. A lot of times they'll hold their whole abdomen or they'll hold their stomach. So don't just think because they have a tummy ache, it's not an appendicitis attack because it's not on the right. We've talked about that before. But all right. So you look for his belly button and then you look towards his anterior iliac crest, which is kind of like the right front of the hip. If you have an imaginary diagonal line and you go kind of about two thirds down, boom, there's his McBurney's point. Yeah. Don't be pushing on it because, again, we don't know if his appendix is about to burst. You don't know what's under there, but you got it. You, you, you found it. All right. Good. All right. Now we got a nice, clean, shaven, sexy abdomen here. Right. All right. We found McBurney's point. We are about to make the incision. All right, are you ready for this? No, 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 no. No chainsaw. No, no, no. We need a knife. Right, we need a knife. Okay. All right, just just grab a knife. There's got to be a knife on the island. There. I, okay, it's stuck in peanut butter. Just take it out of the peanut butter. Wipe it off your leg. Just w wipe it off your leg. All right. Now pour some alcohol on the knife. Okay, you got it? All right. Now we are about to make the incision. All right, are you ready? Now, are you checking out the nurse? No, 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 no. Focus. Okay, we're focusing. All right. So I'm going to cut through the skin. All right. Very easy. Very easy. All right. And then we got some fascia down there. We got some campers fascia, some scarpus fascia. Right. You see that there? Oh, and now we're into the rectus abdominis muscle. It's just like cutting meat. A succulent piece of juicy prime rib, isn't it? Oh, it's just going down so smooth. Look at that. Got the external oblique muscle. There's the internal oblique, right? Now you got those transverse abdominal muscles. Boom. You're through the fascia and into the peritoneum. You're in there. You're in. You're in. Oh, you dropped the knife. Dude, you drop the knife. Go in there. Get it. You can't leave a knife in there. Go. Just get it. Okay, now you're bleeding too. Just, okay, just stop. Forget it. Let's just find the appendix. We'll figure this out. Wrap your hand up. All right. Okay, so now you guys see the bowel there? You see the colon? You, you can see that. It's kind of yellow and shiny. Let's just pull that bowel up. All right, because we got to see there's no lighting here on the island. Okay, let's just pull it up, throw it on his stomach, and let's just start searching for that little appendix. Okay, so we're searching. We're searching there. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. You see that little dangly thing? You see, it kind of looks like a, well, it doesn't really look like a penis, but it's, that's the closest thing to a pen. Okay. It's an, an appendage, right? Okay. It's the appendage off of the colon. That is your appendix or his appendix. Okay. You got it. Okay. Now this thing's swollen. This thing has cysts. This sucker's about to burst. Okay. We got to hurry because if that sucker bursts, the whole island drops into the ocean. So we got to be careful here. Okay. So we got to tie the blood supply off. You can't just rip off an appendix. We got to tie it off. So we need something to tie it with. Now, if you're ever stuck on an island and you need something to tie your tourniquet, sometimes you could just grab a big amount of your hair. If you want to do that, kind of tie the ends, you could use that. Hair is pretty strong. But um, I got something better. Your shoelace. See your shoelace? Take here. Take the shoelace. We'll be able to tie this off with the shoelace. Okay. Tie, now you got the tennis shoe in the way. Get, you, take the shoelaces off the tennis shoe. Okay. Take, 
get rid of the tennis shoe. Good. Okay, you got the shoelaces. Now take that shoelace, pour some alcohol on it because, again, we got to make it sterile. Pour some alcohol on it. All right. Now tie it. Yeah, ear bunnies around and through. Good. You got it. All right. Now we got to cut this off. Where's the knife? The knife is still in the patient. Okay, just, just, I don't know. We got to hurry. Chew it off. Just chew it. Chew, chew, chew. Okay, that's just pus. It'll just wipe it off your lips. It's just, it's just pus. Don't, okay, chew it off. You got it. Got it. Okay, now, okay, you got to go. You got to throw it in the ocean before it explodes. Go, go to the beach, throw it in the ocean. Run, it's going to explode. Hurry, hurry. You got only about three, two, one. Throw it in the ocean. Throw it in the ocean. Well done. You got it in the ocean. The sucker didn't explode. You saved all our lives. Saved all our lives. Well done. It's Miller time. High five. Oh, the patient. Okay, we got to go back to the patient. All right, he's got all his bowels sticking out on his stomach and entrails and all that. All right, let's, let's, okay, go ahead. Put the ballot. You got the knife? You found the knife. Thank you. You found the knife. Okay, let's kind of cut off the rest of the tennis shoelace so then you have the bare minimum. Nah, I don't know if I'd pour alcohol in them because the alcohol can kind of maybe hurt the peritoneum and stuff. Just kind of shove everything back in. Right? Maybe say a prayer. I know he's bleeding a lot, but it doesn't matter if he dies. You just performed a successful appendectomy. You're going to make $99.52. So I just, you know, wonderful. Well done. All right. Let's um, close him up with something. You know, you guys could always use super glue. Super glue is good for cuts out in the wilderness or duct tape. If there's any duct tape on the plane, good. Let's just wrap him up with some duct tape and you are done. That is how you take out an appendix, and you have just successfully taken out his appendix. Well done. That's an epidectomy for you guys. Woo! All right. For those of you just joined us, this is the Dr. Dahlia Show, sassy and stimulating medical talk radio.